First I'm going to uh, have to get to the brake fluid reservoir. Uh, you can't see it from here because it looks like it's hiding under here. So I'll, uh, I'll have to remove this piece somehow. I'll try maybe these uh, clips here. Let's see what it does. Okay, so yes, uh, I used one of these to remove these the three clips. And then you have to wiggle this cover out. And lift it up from this side then first, that side, and then this will let go as well. And here's your brake fluid reservoir. It says you have to use dot four only. I already had a dot four from BMW. So I'm gonna open it and then suck it out. Uh, suck out as much as I can with the turkey baster. So I've unscrewed this. Looks like there's a yellow filter in that I'm gonna take out. And then I will try to suck out as much as I can with one of these from a dollar store and put this, uh, put the old fluid in the bottle. And then I'll um, begin uh, to take off the wheels because I'm changing my wheels anyway. And um, we'll continue with the fluid changing procedure. So when you when you've sucked out enough fluid, uh, you can't suck out anymore. Just uh, pour brand new dot four uh, into the reservoir, and um, to fill the uh, the fluid you sucked out. Be careful not to pour too much. I put a little bit too much and it uh, spilled outside of the, uh, the reservoir a little bit, so don't make a mess. So as you see here, I found the bleeder valve, which is covered by a little plastic uh, piece to prevent dust and other stuff to uh from getting in so you're gonna find this on every uh on every wheel um and uh you're gonna take it off and then you're going to put your wrench onto it onto the bleeder valve and then attach the clear tube for draining so you're gonna use a tool like uh like what you see right here the, uh, just a clear bottle with uh, with some uh, fluid at the bottom and a tube um, that will um, be uh, submerged in that fluid. The other tube will, uh, end of the tube will go on the uh, brake uh, line bleeder valve. So here I'm doing another wheel. As you can see my box wrench was already on the clear tubing so then it's easier for me to do exactly what I just did. So push the clear tubing onto the bleeder valve, put the wrench back on the valve itself into position. And once you get a good grip on it, okay, make sure obviously the other end of the tube is in a bottle, in the fluid, and tell your driver to step on the brakes and hold them. At this point, you're going to turn the bleeder valve left to open it, and you will see fluid coming out just like shown in the video. Uh, keep the leader valve open about half a turn or perhaps even more and have the driver pump multiple times. You should hear the fluid coming out. Obviously while you're doing this make sure you monitor the level of the fluid in the reservoir. If this goes to the bottom, you're in deep trouble because you're beginning to suck air into your system. So make sure it's always filled. Maybe use another person to watch it or just uh, take a break, close the valve and go to the reservoir to make sure there's fluid in the bottle. Okay, and then continue with the procedure. When you're done, close the bleeder valve tight. And as you can see, I found a good method 
of removing the plastic tubing, the drain tube, without making a mess. Not a single drop will spill if you simply uh, sort of angle it to the bottom and allow the air to go in through the top of the, of the hose. Uh, the fluid will simply recede into the bottle. Finally top it off at the very end and close it.